Hello friends, in this video we will discuss isometric view of right circular cone of dia 80 and height 60. It's a right circular cone. Right circular cone means axis is perpendicular to the base. So isometric view of a right circular cone of dia, 60, uh, dia 80 and height 60. So very first step, let's see the top view of this cone. It will be a circle. If I'll enclose this circle into a frame, this frame will be a square of 80 mm because diameter is 80. Because directly we cannot prepare the isometric view of circle. Right? So if I'll enclose this circle into a frame, this will be a square. So first we'll draw the isometric view of a square base. So let's draw the isometric view of 80 mm square. So as usual, first let's draw one reference line. Let's take this one as a pole point. Align your protector with the reference line. Like previous problems, measure the angle of 30 degree, this side, right side and 30 degree, left side. Now without any second thought, let's draw the isometric view of a square. Let's draw the lines at 30 degree. ATMM this side this should be a continuous thin line and take 80 mm right side measure it very carefully up to here it is 80 now take a compass of 80 mm Eighty. This is eighty. Take eighty arc from right side and take eighty arc on left side. You can draw it side by side and you can note down the time that how much time you are taking to draw this. So now this is the isometric view of a square of 80 by 80. In this square, isometric view of square which is a rhombus, we have to draw the isometric view of circle which will be like an ellipse. So what is the procedure for this? First we have to mark the midpoint of all the four sides. You can copy this 40 mm with the help of compass. This is 40, you can take 40 this side, similarly 40 this side and 40 this side. Simply you have to mark the midpoint of the four sides. So these are the midpoints of the four sides. After marking the midpoint you have to draw four lines from the shortest diagonal. This is longest diagonal and this is shortest diagonal. In case of square, basically all both the diagonals will be same, but this is isometric view. So that's why one diagonal is reduced and square is getting converted in a rhombus. Similarly, two lines upside and two lines downside.
now these are the two lines upside and two lines downside up to the midpoint if you are not taking the midpoint randomly you are taking the point then it will be totally wrong so we have to draw the four arcs now this is the very first arc similarly from opposite side now from this point here majority of the times we are doing the mistake from this point you have to draw the arc on same side this side from this point draw the arc on this side So now this is the isometric view of the circle here minor error is there due to the uh, misplaced movement of the center so you can take care for this thing so this is the base of the cone now we have to find out the centroid to take the height of the cone so we will take the height of the cone from the center of this base let's find out the centroid we have already marked the midpoints to join the midpoints to find out the centroid this is the center line which represents the axis of symmetry so from this centroid we have to take the height of 60 as per given data this should be a center line chain type of line is used to represent the axis of symmetry and center of the object so now from the center we have taken the height of 60 now this is the last step this step is very important from this apex you have to draw one tangent only tangent in simple language simply we can say from this point you have to draw a line which is only touching this arc so it is a tangent from this side also so here in this cone this is the visible outline this edge is basically hidden edge so you can convert it into a thin line or dash type line so in isometric view we are not using the hidden lines we are not drawing any hidden edge of the object so just for the construction work we can show this line as a thin line just to show the construction work so let's see the dimensioning of this object for dimensioning same 30 degree extension line should be there align your scale with the edge base edge extend this extend this line from here now the scale is parallel to the base edge even you can see this line of the arrowhead is parallel to this extension line that is 30 degree so this is dia 80 in case of height take the first extension line from the centroid from here which is 30 degree here also we have to take 30 degree angle 
बट वन ट्रिक इज देयर फ्रॉम हियर ड्रॉ अ वर्टिकल लाइन ऑफ सिक्सटी एग्जैक्टली वर्टिकल बिकॉज हाइट विल बी वर्टिकल ओनली सिक्सटी तो नो वेन यू विल ज्वाइन दिस एपेक्स to the end of the extra uh, dimension line you will get 30 degree angle now it will look like a parallelogram this is height this is height this is extension line this is extension line so this is the height of 60 the object is ready now in case if you have any doubt or any question please post your comment and subscribe to the channel please Thank you so much